Hello guys, Average here. This time around I will try to make a super van. I already decided to go with... Uh, it's probably the Volkswagen Transporter body, if I'm not mistaken. It might be it. I am still not decided if we will go with uh, the high roof one. It's probably better to go with uh, the lower version. Uh, we need to make this lightweight. Why? Uh, because we want to make it... Uh, kind of sports car, like the Ford Transit Supervan. We can go with uh, full carbon fiber, with uh, space frame chassis. Seems like a good idea. And for the chassis material, we need something uh, durable. Uh, the regular AHS steel... ...weighs a bit more, but is safer at the same time. As for the engine placement, and... Huh. I thought so we can uh, put the engine in the middle, but... Unfortunately, we cannot, and changing the chassis doesn't change much. Okay, scrap that. We will go for another body. Engine position. Something that allows me to go for Oh, I do have some mods here These are all terrible We can also go for... no, we cannot take this one, it's just a front engine setup. Are there really no rear engine vans? This game denies me fun. Okay, we have a uh, rear engine placement here. I don't know what kind of mod it is. Uh, go back to space frame, age of steel. As for the suspension, we will go for wishbones uh, front and rear. Increase the quality by a lot. Uh, we're going for plus five. Is it all good here? Uh, no, uh, engine placement. Mid longitudinal. It is going to be mid for now. We might change it for a uh, rear engine placement later on. And this is going to be Chunky Boy. Uh, it's... V8, I think? 
with 7 liter displacement. And we're of course making this a 90 degree block. All aluminum with dual overhead cams. And I really want to make it... It's... Okay. So this engine is too long already. What if I put it in the rear? Okay, we have some space left over here. What if I make it 60 degree? Yeah. Make the bore slightly bigger than the stroke. So we can put that put this engine on higher RPMs. Uh, for now, all around cast. Wallace 5 on quality on every single thing here. Uh, dump decompression, uh, increase the cam profile, VVL profile, turbocharge it for race setup, uh, it's going to need a chunky intercooler, maybe increase the, the max boost to 2 bars, plus 5 on quality here too, uh, direct injection this time with uh, race intake. ultimate fuel it is going to be a race car uh, with rich mixture maybe 12.6 to 1 increase the timing increase the rpm limit increase the quality here uh, for the exhaust bypass valves uh, no catalytic converter and no mufflers Okay, uh, this engine wants to die. Even though uh, that the pistons, pistons Conrad crank uh, are enough to withstand only thousand newton meters of torque, it still gets to one point five thousand. Forged steel is good enough. Yeah, we have to go for billet steel or decrease the. It's still not good enough. We still have to decrease it. Titanium conrods. Uh, regular forged. Allow me to go even higher with torque, but I would have to decrease the, the RPM limit by a lot. So I might have to change the displacement even more. Maybe do it like this. Does it work now? It's okay. It's not just 7% here 7.8k what about the fuel uh, we're running 100 rounds only 87 are used at this moment Dump the RPM limit.
Okay, that wasn't the best idea. Oh, the exhaust. Nearly 1700 uh, horsepower. might go for performance setup, which means we will lose a lot of power, but... We also need some power in the middle, middle of our RPMs. the ignition timing and now we can actually change those for lightweight and increase the rpm limit to 8.4 thousand Okay, thousand horsepower. Mm, just good enough. Can I do something about the No, we're just losing horsepower this way. is good. Where is the... Here it is. Increase the quality by 5. Go back, check the quality sliders. Back here. Okay. All plus 5. Beautiful. As for the fixtures, we need something simple like this. Okay, it does look nice here. What's the difference? Okay, this one's chrome, but we don't want to put any unnecessary chrome on it. The 
because it is a rear engine car we don't really need any suck in front maybe except uh, some vents for our brakes which will be definitely huge for this car give it as much suck as it possibly can take Change this to T. S to S. Fix some of the placement of those letters. placement how does it look like from further further away not so bad okay We might still put our intercooler in the front. So it's as far from heat sources as possible. Definitely give it some an old handles. What do I want it here?
make them even uh, slightly bigger than, than now. Chunky fuel cap. We also need some vents for the actual engine here. What are those? Not what I need. Viper style vents? Not really. There are no nice vents here. this one make it absolutely huge Although it will have some basic lights. make a reverse light out of this. I think we're good. We can pull, still put a license plate on it. a straight version of uh, that pipe uh, not really
Might have to go for a stock pipe. Make it huge though. Why is it not visible? For the... For this kind of engine Pipes pointing downwards may create lift, which is not what we want, of course. Might be a time to give it a good old side exhaust. Where was the one that? That looked nice. Change it to 3D modeling. Turn it this way a bit. doesn't look that bad put the grill back here maybe go back to morphing and change this car a bit uh, extend the fenders as far away as possible I have to change this vent too it slightly shorter It's a nice side skirt. Uh, 
rear wheel drive of course sequential seven speed and let's stop at 350 I think make it slightly slightly smaller ratio of gears as for the We'll give it uh, gear limited slip diff plus five on quality of course radial tires semi slicks uh, 350s 360s in the back i think that because of bmg problems with uh, those scars i might have to go for Or maybe if I change this to monocoque, it will help. Uh, not really. What about some nice space frame? What about light truck? I might have to go for light truck monocoque just because of clipping problem in BM and BMG later on. Oh no, uh, it forces my engine to go in, in the front. So only monocoque. Monocoque and space frame chassis allow me to go for, for a rear engine placement. That's, uh, that's a problem here. Okay, semi space frame seems to do the job. Same for Bonocock. I might still have to change something in the engine or not. No. It's all good here. What about the fenders? cannot really go any further from this and I don't want it to be a thousand horsepower car on 255s how far can I go about 29280 I'll stick to 280 maybe force it a little bit more outside Okay, we will see how does it work in in BMG later on, and also we'll have to change it for all-wheel drive 
if it doesn't allow me to go any wider than that. Which is not really what I wanted. Maybe 7 to 30 power split. Now this whole fender clipping is really annoying me. Carbon fiber. Uh, rims. Maybe decrease the diameter of uh, front wheels. Uh, not the diameter the width. Increase its offset. And I think we have to go further. And for the brakes, all around carbon ceramic brakes, maybe three, three pistons, huge brakes in the back, slightly smaller in the front, uh, I think, race pad type, three pistons, this should be okay. Uh, bias them more on uh, the re rear wheels. Uh, we don't really care about downforce setup, but we might have to still go for fixtures, uh, attach a lip to it, just because it allows us to tune aerodynamics on the car. for something in the back something that doesn't look awful This one. I think it, it fits the car nicely. Okay, we're done with this, done with this. No under tray. No active wing. high air wing angle just because we have small tires and all of our no the weight in the back might allow us to go lower on on, on the wing angle here so we might increase just the front we will see it later on increase the the brake airflow just be just to reduce uh, brake freight Port interior, no entertainment, increase the quality. Do we give it the, the good stuff? Maybe. But this car will definitely need a launch control, traction control, whatever you can call it. It's not going to... No safety features. Uh, maybe...
like a sport roll cage setup is about maybe 50 kilos so we can go for standard tens active springs give it the best setup here it does oversteer as as as, as i expected what about the power distribution we are 29 also as I expected, but it seems that we have some problems with the with the grip. Okay, front force, front grip. We have too much power in the front. Okay, we're done with this. Oh, we had... We don't really care about forces as long as they are actually higher than the grip because we have ABS which should uh, do this for us circle test I expected this much Ninety-eight point three. It sta it starts to go down above. Okay. So this should be the perfect setup for. What about the electric limited slip diff? Just increases the drivability here. Of course, increase quality of my suspension. Now 
now that we're done with this... Okay, we're at uh, zero percent at the circle test, plus on agility, minus 2.8% on torque. Chassis stiffness. Can I do something about the chassis? I think the only thing I can do is to... Oh, it changed. It got changed to regular steel. Uh, carbon fiber? Yeah. Push rods in the front do not change much. From what I can see. But it's not going to be a cheap car, so who cares? If I now change it to race setup. The force is high, the force is high. It's all good. Uh, 300k we're at minus for a circle test now what about the aerodynamics we have a lot of lift in the front What about the active wing? It all decreases the, the stats here. Okay, we're at 
0% at a circle test. The fuel economy is not terrible for this kind of car. I think we're good. Let's go and export this car. How shall I name it? Polus Tolus, Tolus. I have no idea. Export the car. And we're done for today.